Hello everybody, welcome back to my 1.16 Let's Play. I am uh, just dumping off some iron here. We gotta just get rid of all this. This is from the iron farm that I collected. Uh, everything that we got up. So, if you remember last episode, that's what we did. We built that iron farm up there. Also, guys, we got Optifine, so we can zoom now. Everything's looking a little better. Connected textures on the glass. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. And then we got Buddy over here. We got uh, heads we can trade with now. And we can get like small versions of the blocks. If you guys watch Hermitcraft, they have this same uh, data pack. I can actually get heads of those people too, but that's kind of weird. Um, but so what we're going to do to start this episode, guys, is we're going to grab one of these name tags. Whoops, that's not supposed to be in there. That is supposed to be right there. We're going to grab one of these name tags that I got in, I believe, the last episode. And we're going to head over here and we're going to name the dog. So... The name of the dog is going to be Balto. There we go. We're going to go toss this on. Let's close this door. All right. And then we're just going to we're gonna name the dog. He's just going to sit here for the rest of the Let's Play, basically. I mean, we might move him one day. He's just chilling here on the side of the, the storage house. So uh, there we go. There's Balto. Actually, we're going to dye his collar, too. I'm not sure what color to do it. All right, we're gonna do blue. I feel like blue is probably a good color for him. And there we go, there's Balto, just gonna chill there. And uh, I have a little bit of stuff planned for this episode, guys, and I'm I'm very excited to get working on here. So today, uh, you know, before I get into anything, first of all, I wanna say thank you. We're, we got a bunch of subscribers and a lot of uh, interaction in the last video, a lot of positive stuff, and I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm, uh, I, I'm glad that you guys enjoy it. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna start by uh, you know obviously we're gonna have a lot of building going on in this area so we're gonna have to get working on this and eventually you know we got to get a lot of materials for this as you can see basalt is a huge part of our build palette even over there over there a lot of basalt so we are gonna be building a basalt generator and it's actually very simple so all you need if you don't know is a lava bucket some blue ice and some soul soil and I believe we have no okay maybe we don't maybe in this chest no actually i guess we don't have any soul soil that's all right we can go get that pretty easily but then we're gonna need to find blue ice so that might be a challenge but first of all i'm gonna go grab this blue uh not blue ice we're gonna go grab this soul soil guys i forgot to bring gold armor is he chasing me still no i guess not I've... oh wait oh my god which way did i i forgot to bring gold armor so they were like chasing me the piglins they were going at me but actually i mean i could craft it with this couldn't i but actually they're, they're not that bad they're, there's not a lot of them around i'll probably be fine famous last words <laughs> right before they all run off of this hill and destroy me i kind of forget how to get to the soul sand valley i'm not even gonna lie i think yeah oh wait here we go oh yeah, yeah it's this way we're good and here's one of these guys we gotta kill him jukes jukes and he hit me anyway Look at those crits. Oh, actually, there's a lot of them over here for some reason. Oh, I got my bow, though. It's all good. Oh, they're coming at me hard. Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, I could have just got knocked off that. We're just going to go for it. Come on, come on. Okay, soul soil right here. Let me just get some of this. Let me get some soul sand, too. Good for the, the blue lanterns. Oh, okay, and they're on me still. We're gonna have to take them out. Okay, that, that actually wasn't too bad. Alright. PvP God. Alright, let's go. Make sure we pick up all this stuff. And let's be careful walking back across this. That could have been really bad. Alright, so we got the soul soil, right? Yeah, we got 17. Should, uh, should probably get more, actually, now that I say that. Alright, I got myself a stack and a half. And the reason I need that, guys, is if you don't know the mechanics, did not mean to do that, the mechanics of a basalt farm, then, um, yeah, let me let me tell you, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Uh, basically, what you have to do is have lava, which reminds me, do I have a bu- uh, is it, is it worth getting the lava from here, or should I just do it at home? I probably should just get it here. But basically, what you need is a bucket of lava, and then you need to place it, like, you know- 
on the ground and then have it run into a piece of soul soil and have a piece of blue ice next to it as well and it turns into basalt and you can do a infinite generator like that similar to how you do a cobblestone generator with lava and water so we're gonna create one of those so that we can get basalt from our house and also I saw in the new snapshot for 1.16.2 they added I need some blocks they added the ability to get blackstone from bartering with piglins so that is gonna be great because I was worried about trying to get blackstone in a you know big amounts but that's that's gonna work really well once they implement that so let's see is this lava let's get rid of the water Can I just, yeah nice okay now all we need is the blue ice guys I love the way our base is coming together look at this we got a really nice looking village area over here and once we get this tower built with the villager trading hall and everything this place is really coming together I'm really happy about this we got to get uh, oh that's the wandering trader still we got to get inside though see look at this how does this happen how many zombies is this this is great okay nope we're not gonna even risk it again this is insane I, I, don't, I can't even count how many there is there let's try and run to our bed as quick as we can because they're gonna come up on me no more creeper action please is that them over there they just disappeared when I came out from sleeping oh here they are okay yep I'm sorry guys time to die all right so back to what we were doing oh no are they attacking no yeah you get out of here buddy anyway what I was saying was now we need to find an ice biome so go inside go go inside go hurry they're coming for you let the llamas spit go stay in there and I'm gonna kill your llamas oh and there's an enderman actually we should probably kill the enderman you know now that I was thinking about it we're gonna need a lot of ender pearls you know for uh you know when we go to the end or whatever I'm saying you know a lot let's uh okay and he's gone great good stuff hello chicken hey what are you doing out here i've barely gone anywhere look at this guy i wonder if i can get his head oh, i'm so sorry and i didn't even get his head wow that was a really sad thing to do oh baby we did it we got it right there we have a frozen biome oh my gosh look at that that's all the ice we could ever need okay let's uh should i make a boat yeah probably it'll make it quicker what is that is that did you see that did that not oh yeah there is a village over there look at that actually let's go around to that first all right what what am i looking for even here let's be completely honest what what could i possibly need out of oh sea pickles that's kind of cool whatever uh it's a cool looking bed i mean honestly what there's no blacksmiths i feel like blacksmith places were like the only thing you'd go to in a village at this point like oh actually hay bales not bad since i don't have a wheat farm anymore but let's just get some ice i, I really don't really care about this village that much oh we got a cat though oh that's kind of cool i still don't have any fish though we should probably make a fishing rod at some point no, I, I, okay, that was that was mean. Okay, let's um, let's do this. Let's grab a crafting table, and let's make a boat. Look at that, we got a polar bear. They're not aggressive unless you hit them, right? Um, I think. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, too close to you. Oh, hey buddy, hey, how you doing? I, I kind of want to get his head. He does get mad, right? If I... Yeah, okay, okay. Let's try and do this. Let's do this. He probably hits hard. Come on, give me your head, please. I, or else I'd feel bad about killing him. Just like that chicken. Oh, did you see the way he laid over when he died, too? Oh, my God. Oh, there's another one. I don't know why I want a polar bear head so bad. We gotta try. Actually, let's try and do it from long range. Actually, wait, we might be able to find blue ice literally in these glaciers. Yeah, look at that, look at that. I think this is blue ice, right? Beautiful. Okay, hold on. Let's try and fit, find it above the water, because that took forever to dig. Let's kill this guy first. Ah, uh, now he's in the water. Oh, it's going to be nighttime, too. I probably... Okay. And all he dropped me was fish. I probably should go back to that village and go to sleep, because it might get dirty out here at night all these basically spawning platforms let's do ah no i won't be able to 
Actually, I can just do this and then do this and then jump instead of swimming. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually quicker. Let's see. Where's my boat at? There it is. We got to get to this village. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And that, I mean, that, that was just my boat. That's the noise my boat makes. Let's get here. I feel much safer here, actually. Let me even get some more hay bales. Why not? This hoe is crazy. Let's get... Uh, Buddy, come on, man. I need to sleep there. Why do they just... Oh, wait. What if I do this? Oh, my God. Emergency. Emergency. Everybody out of the bed. Thank you. Okay. Back to the ice. Let's get more of this for absolutely no reason. Okay. Actually, maybe I should just grab this composter too. Yeah. I mean, who cares? Let's go. I'm not sure where I want to dig into the glaciers because I kind of like the way they look. I don't want to ruin them. Let's see. I'll just dig into this one over here. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. Oh, I need one more piece of ice. I don't want that. Just one. Okay. And now we have 20 pieces of blue ice. And I guess we over collected the soul soil. It's all right. Who cares? So let's get... Where do I always leave my boat? Why do I always swim without my boat? Let's get back to the base and let's try and set up this little farm. All right, guys, so we need to figure out where we want to do this. I think we want to make a nice little shack somewhere. I don't know where to build the shack, but I think we're going to do something like that. And then in the basement of it, we'll have the little, uh, actually, screw it. We'll do it like right over here. But what I was going to say is in the basement of this shack is where we'll put, you know, ugly farms like this one that we're about to build. So let me just do this. And I'm actually going to show you guys real quick the, the idea behind this farm. So let's do this. I like this. All right, guys. So look, this is what we got to do. We got to get our lava. Okay. Like this. And let's actually grab a couple of blocks like this. Just, this is just demonstration. We got to watch the pickaxe durability. Okay. And we're going to grab our soul sand and our ice. So say we have the soul sand right here and then we have the ice above it like that. I believe if we just do this, there we go. See the salt. And it's just going to keep doing it. And then, you know, we'll, we'll figure out a way to, to automate this. That's why I made some mine carts and stuff to automatically pick it up. Let's get rid of God. This pickaxe is literally about to break. Okay. We're good. I'm actually gonna have to repair this pickaxe before we start building anything. But I kind of want to make a little shack, like a little shed kind of thing. And then in the basement, we'll have the ugly farms that don't belong anywhere in this world. So I'm trying to just pick a location. I'm kind of leaning towards over here, this little spot right here. And we could just always go underground right here. So let me actually put some of this stuff in a chest outside here so I can, you know, but actually I have chests on me, don't I? Yeah, I do. These were going to be the collection chests. So let me get all set up real quick, guys. All right, guys, I got all my materials ready. I think we are just about ready to start building this uh, this little shack, and I'm pretty sure we're just going to do it right. Oh, I'm so nervous about this pickaxe breaking during this. Wait, what is it? 32. Okay. I'm going to clear out a little bit more space right here, and I think we're just going to yeah, we'll do this, and we're going to put it down in this area over here. So I'm going to go sleep, and then I'm going to get started on this build. And it's done. There it is, guys. Me and my little shack. So, basically, it's just a mini version of everything else that we have. It's got the green roof, the blackstone, the uh, stone bricks, and the basalt. And then, look at this. We got some trapdoors. Okay. Hello, dirt. We got uh, some trapdoors for the windows. And then inside, we have a grass floor. Perfect. Now, um, I'm going to decorate the inside, but basically what this is going to be is going to be a three wide staircase straight down to our farming area and hopefully 
hopefully right here we do not hit any of the ocean or it's not even an ocean it's just a swamp but before i do any of this i need to yeah go repair my pickaxe all right guys so i've been doing a little bit of work over here at the shack this is it right here beautiful nice little door i hid some light underneath these carpets right here let me put that back because okay and then uh yeah i just have a nice little entrance nothing crazy and then this is our staircase down. Unfortunately, the ocean and the surface of the uh, ground is literally right there. So we're going to have a little bit of a low ceiling. It, it doesn't make much of a difference. But I was thinking of doing something like this for the lighting on the sides. Incorporate some black stone into the side here. Let's get one there. We need one here too. Yeah, and then just kind of continue this down far enough down. And I think maybe right here is where we're going to stop and cave out a huge area to start putting in some of our uh, our machines. And to start today, obviously, we're gonna do the basalt one. So I'm gonna continue this nice little pattern, hopefully this isn't water, down to where, you know, I feel it's a good place. So I'll be back once I've done that. All right, guys, so this is it. We made a little bit of progress here. I caved out a little bit of a crappy little cube area. Whatever. Uh, we got the yeah, these little yeah trapdoor things. Uh, whatever. Some lighting out here. You know, nothing really changed. I put some lanterns down, and then I put all this crap down again, and carried it all the way down. And this is it. So basically, the plan is to have some rooms off to the sides. I already started prepping this room right here for the basalt generator. What the hell is that? Get that out of here. Um, and we're gonna decorate these rooms. I mean, stone brick is just so cheap right now that that's what I'm using. We're gonna put the basalt generator in here. And I gotta figure out if this is enough space. So I'm actually gonna probably go into the creative test world real quick and I might show you guys, but yeah, I gotta figure out how big I want this thing to be. Let's see, I have, how much blue ice did I have? Let me check real quick. Cause that'll decide how long the, uh, the actual contraption is gonna be. So let's see, 20, okay. So I'm gonna go figure it out real quick guys. And I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, and it's the next day in real life, and I'm ready to set this thing up. I'm ready to get this almost pretty much completely operational. So I put down the track. It goes into here, into the chest. I have two hoppers that connect. So the next thing I have to do is place this soul sand right here, or soul soil, excuse me. All right, and we're good there. Lava will be right here. That means the blue ice will be on this level. So let me get rid of this. And we just need a couple more like this over collected on this but that's fine so now literally we're almost done guys i'll pop this down under here make sure that starts going and that should pick everything up let's just make sure should pick all that stuff up and it should end up in here perfect so the last thing we have to do let me get my scaffolding out real quick is go up here and we need to put in lava so i have one bucket so we can see how far that gets us it should get these two one maybe the other one yeah, okay, so we're going to need, you know, yeah, we're going to need maybe a couple more buckets of lava. So I'm actually going to go collect my buckets, and then I'll be right back, guys, actually. All right, this is it, guys. So it's pretty much built now, now that we uh, are putting this lava in. So we're going to test it out real quick once that's done. And I'm going to break all this off like that. All right, cool. We're ready to test this baby out. Let's see. Should have it being collected. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't even make it to the end. Nice. This is good. Okay, let's just make sure. I wonder if any of it burns in the lava. Oh, yeah. That one definitely did. I mean, I'm going to sit here for a couple of minutes, guys, and test it out. And I'll show you the results. All right. I would add for maybe a minute or two. Let's just check and make sure everything's going in. Nice. And then we have some in our inventory. So this is great. We're going to be able to use this a lot. Looks like this is all good. And the problem is this room. It's disgusting. And this room right here, also disgusting. But the rest of this looks nice. I was thinking we could do something like this. Picture this. We got like a little desk in the middle here. And then we have our mending dude, big boy Larry, right here. You know, like the receptionist. And, then, you know, he's got his own little place because he's special. But obviously we're going to have to do a lot of decorating in here. But yeah, basalt farm set up. Got that good super easy to use works which is always great and i'm actually going to check on the iron farm too see if that's been working oh i hear it working already this is great look at that oh he's 
that's the noise he makes when he dies. Oh, okay, nice. We actually got some extra iron in here. Oh, and even more. Nice. Looks like it's working well. I replaced a lot of this with glass panes, and this seems to have helped. I saw a comment on the uh, tutorial. Uh, someone said replace it with glass panes, and it works in 1.16, so that's what I did. It seems like it's working well. Sometimes they get stuck, which, you know, completely ruins the farm, but it's all right. It's all right. It works. All right, guys. So the next step here is to get this uh, pathway in. I'm actually pretty excited. We're going to see if we can make something nice here. We're going to take this same, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, what, what, what do you call this? Like the same structure thing this way. We're going to make this there, but we need to get some basalt. And that's handy because we just made an entire farm for basalt. I, I do, I do admit this is pretty annoying. Bumping my head on this, but go over here. Let's just grab what we have here and pray that it's enough. Okay, so let's start with just creating the middle line or where I want the basalt to be. Let's get rid of that. I kind of just do this and then I come down. It's going to go this way. I'm just going to run with it. It's not supposed to be a... Uh, you know, symmetrical or neat or anything. So then I just come along the edges. I'm actually gonna put this in my offhand instead of my food. And pretty much just do this. And, oh wow, I'm really screwing that up. There we go. Just do a little bit of some gravel right here on the edges of the path. Sorry, I forgot I was uh, trying to say what I was doing. Let's put these here and then I'll put one over here even. Oh, I did not need to do that. Now I need to put two, there we go. And then, Oops, place that and put it along here. Nice. So let's get rid of that too, actually. Oh, God. Wow. So bad. There we go. So that is um, looking pretty weak. That's pretty. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's not looking great. Let's try and uh, fix this up a little bit. All right. So one more thing real quick, guys, before the end of this episode, I want to add one more thing into the shed area down here. I'm just going to close the door behind me. This is what I want to do. I want to add a little auto composter machine i guess i'll put it in here with the basalt generator there's plenty of there's actually not plenty of space we could add it in one of these like weird side rooms right here so let's just dig out a little room right here we don't need a lot of room we just need a little bit of oh my god i thought that was lava a little bit of head clearance so let's dig oh oh no we're good okay we just need to get rid of that and let's see okay so we just want to add this this that yeah, we're gonna need even more head clearance here and then we just need let's get some third out this going in there and that and then we're gonna probably have to dig the block above it good and that's that pretty simple you just toss the stuff you want to compost up in there and this is our little ugly room i guess because this is pretty bad but yeah that'll, that'll be great we'll be able to add uh all the wart stuff in there actually you know what let me show you real quick this is what the plan is i was doing it earlier out here if you remember we got this nice path i really like this path i was thinking of even doing a path out to here and then doing a bridge over to there but i realized we're not actually going to have a lot of stuff back here once this uh trading hall is built it's going to take up most of the space so we might only have a few other things out here i do want to add some greenery and some uh some lighting underground under the leaves some you know different stuff like we did over here i'll probably do that in between episodes but this is the plan guys look when you get all this wart stuff that i just do not use for anything this is what we do but also it, even if i did want to use it for something it's so easy to get it, it doesn't matter i'd rather just compost it because we have no other way of getting bone meal this is it you just toss everything in here it gets automatically fed into let me get rid of this dirt it's annoying me for some reason and this it's automatically fed into the composter and then bone meal pops out down there perfect might want to add some doors on these places just to you know label everything but i think i'm good for now i think we're gonna do some work off camera guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know pretty up this area right here might do a little work inside the house even and then uh on the next episode we might be heading back to the nether and we might even be uh starting this trading hall right here which is super great we're also gonna move big boy larry into his spot inside there big boy larry oh he went back to 12 okay anyway guys we're gonna end it over here nice by the little shed and i really hope you enjoyed this episode it was a good uh, episode for me to make i had a lot of fun doing it 
And we made this little shed. We got the path done, we got the generator done, and we should be good for a while on basalt. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.